Be careful, kids. Attila is more dangerous now than before we tamed him. Those were certainly profound first words to speak on Earth's new moon. I'm not making speeches, Robbins. I'm concerned about keeping everybody alive. Commander, I can collect rock samples later. Right now, I would like to get below the surface down into that tunnel. We're gonna do it eventually. We might as well do it now. You agree, Robbins? I'm game for it. I've called the pig. We'll send it on ahead to light the way. Remember, any rock may be loose, and any wall may collapse at any time. Please be careful, everyone. Cora, send down the pig, please. We'll need the light. It isn't the same. Low, over and out. Robbins, this is low. Robbins here. What is it? See anything interesting? Everything here is interesting. But it's Brink who actually understands what he's seeing. Hard to believe this asteroid just happened to come visit Earth. Almost as if somebody decided our sky wasn't interesting enough with just one moon. Low out. Brink. Come in, Brink. I read you, Low. What is it? You see anything unusual? It's hard to determine how this tunnel was formed. It wasn't created by the explosions. No, no, it's very ancient. The explosions open the door, but this tunnel... Old, but not as old as the asteroid. What does that mean? I don't know. Let me think a minute. I'll check back with you. Be careful maneuvering around these rock walls. These walls are more stable than I expected, Commander. But of course I'll be careful. Low out. I think you're right, Brink. The stone projection isn't natural. Yes, but what is it doing here? Brink, I wish I knew what these odd projections are. I've taken pictures of them for analysis. Look at this, Brink. This can't be natural.
Definitely not. A metal plate. Definitely an artifact. An artifact? But who could have put something like this in a tunnel? Yes, yes, I think it's clear. Wherever Attila came from, there was someone there. Could this be part of some kind of message? Like the one NASA put in Voyager. If it's a message, I don't understand it. Whatever it is, we've got to tell Houston immediately. Negative, Robbins. I'm clamping down total security as of this moment. You've got to be kidding. You've been telling me all along you just want to be an ordinary member of the mission. I've had secret orders all along to look for any sign of alien presence on this rock. And now that we've found it, my instructions are clear. What I want to hear from both of you right now is I understand, Commander Lowe. I understand and agree, Commander Lowe. There is nothing to be gained from a premature announcement. Robert. I understand, Commander Lowe. Ken. Ken, Lowe here. I read you, boss. Tell Houston that I said Attila's a real hunt. What? Is that some kind of joke? Just tell them, Gordon. You'll receive new communication protocols immediately after. Oh, cool. This is like a secret code. Just thank Cora. You're the only one in Congress who knows anything about this. Houston says the message is received and they're transmitting new codes. We're getting back to work down here, kid. Low out. I'm giving this baby a little push. If that doesn't work, Commander, give it a big push. The plate just dropped down inside something. The plate is gone? I may be criticized for it later, but I'm gonna dig out one of these odd projections. It's your decision, Commander. I'm going to push another one. I wish we could be sure we weren't destroying whatever message they meant us to receive. It seems to me that if they didn't mean us to push these metal plates, we wouldn't be able to push them. I can't use these two things together. It's a deep hole into the rock. We're three for three here, folks. I've heard of putting a message in a bottle, but never in a big rock. the last one. Well, we've done it. Whatever it is we did. Well, here goes nothing. We're with you, Commander. Asteroid is, however. Time to update Houston. 
Low to shuttle. Static. Must be all this rock. We're cut off. Should we go back outside and call them? Nah, they can sit tight for a few more minutes while we poke around. Shallow indentation set into the raised platform. Brink. Come in, Brink. Brink here. Any ideas about these metal plates, Mike? They look like the metal panels you push through the shafts up in the tunnel. This looks like more than we ever expected. Don't be foolish, Commander. I am a geologist, yes, but there are many geologists more prominent than I. Always I suspected that my work in archaeology was the real reason I was brought along. Low out. Robbins, this is low. Robbins here. I read you. What do you think this place is for, Robbins? Some kind of temple? That's the first assumption of most amateur anthropologists. So do you have a better idea? Have you noticed how the metal plates might be arranged to exactly fit that square indentation? So what happens if I arrange the plates to fill the square indentation? There's only one way to find out. Who would have guessed until I had a place like this inside? Somebody guessed something, Commander. Or you wouldn't have been given your secret mission. Low out. These plates probably fit together, but how? They have not evolved to make use of our cell structures. 
The oxygen in our suits won't last long anyway. I say we take them off and save the remaining oxygen for the return trip. If there is a return trip. The air tastes good. Hmm. Surprise, surprise. Attila was a spaceship all along. A starship, faster than light. We're not in our own solar system. No planet but Earth has an atmosphere like this, and this ain't Earth. After so many years of bad TV shows and crackpots with phony pictures, here is the real proof. There is alien life. Load a cockpit, over. Load a payload, over. Yeah, I'd say we're out of range. Way out of range. I don't see any aliens coming to greet us. For all we know, it might have been a million years since these people sent out Attila, and they long since died out. I don't know about you, but I didn't pack a lunch. Or a can of pop. Well, we might as well look around and learn what we can about this place. We might be here a while. Brink. Brink. How does Maggie seem to be holding up? She seems to be fine, Commander. I'm okay. We all have to watch out for each other. How are you doing, Brink? You mean apart from being trapped on an alien planet with no idea of how to get back? This is a pretty desolate place. Whoever once lived here, I think they are long since gone. So much dust. Undisturbed except by our own feet. Can you make any sense of what you see here? A good archaeologist doesn't expect to make sense of things until he's been digging at a site for years. We don't have years. Maybe years are all we have. I hope you can figure some way out of this place. I don't think we'll be able to climb these walls. In my years of studying rocks and ancient sites, I learned that sometimes the best way down is up, and sometimes the best way up is down. Yeah, well, I hope that made sense to you, because it sure didn't make any sense to me. Thanks. Robbins. You doing okay? Oh, I'm fine. This is the greatest story of my life. The only trouble is, I have no way of telling it to anybody. This place is as desolate as the Midwest. Almost as desolate as the Midwest. Toto, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Hmm. <laughs> if only I had ruby slippers. Maggie, does Brink look okay to you? So far, he looks fine. I'm okay, Commander. Thanks for your concern. We all have to watch out for each other. Thanks. Where are you going, Lo? I was gonna check for water. Or some way out of here. I think we should remain together. Fine. Follow me. This is no longer a space expedition, Lo. This is an archaeological dig. Therefore, I am the obvious leader. Fine. Whenever we need to dig something up, you can use the shovel. In the meantime, our first business is to survive. Our second task is to get home. We need to work together, and I'm still the commander of this mission. You don't know any more about surviving on an alien world than I do. Boston is right, Ludger. He's the one with experience in survival, and we need someone in command. This is no time for a foolish power struggle. All right, I agree. For now. Do you think we could climb this slope? No use. It doesn't go up all the way to the top. The engravings on this wall, 
Are they writing or decoration? You're asking us? Not just plants, but creatures too. I'm not an archaeologist, but these look like bones to me. But they are not lying where the animal died. They were placed here. Markers. A grave? Best guess. And now a home for those rat-like things. It looks like something is buried here. Something's looking at me. What? Are you just going to dig right in? With a shovel? You will destroy the site. I'm not doing archaeology right now, Brink. I'm looking for something to help get us home. Your name will live forever. As the bone-headed space hero who destroyed precious data at the first alien archaeological site. That's better than having my name live forever. As a commander of an expedition that disappeared and was never heard from again. Now get out of the way if you aren't going to help, Brink. This might take a while. What a fine accomplishment, Commander. Now we have a pile of meaningless dirt and bones. Maybe not. You never know when an alien bone will prove useful. Whatever creature these bones used to be, I don't think we've got anything like it on Earth. What do you think? Was this the skull of a sentient being? Or a pet? Or a beast of burden? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's dead. It's a strange-shaped jawbone. The teeth still look strong. This is light, but it feels as strong as steel. of alien life. Do you think there's anyone, or anything, alive? It seems someone had to have been here. Let's hope they're peaceful. Or gone.